Selling on Amazon can be very charmful for you when you get lots of sales and lots of revenue, but at the same time, it can be very stressful for you, especially when sometimes you stuck with a very small error such as title or bullet points not updating on the listing. If we hear this issue, it might seem to be a very small issue, but when it comes to troubleshooting, it sometimes takes hours for you to resolve that error. Along with this error, there are many other errors as well like error 5665 which not let you to enter your brand name while listing your product. So you don't need to worry at all for these kind of small Amazon issues because I'm here to help you and I'm here to guide you that how you can solve these kind of issues. So you must not waste all of your time in resolving those issues and you can focus to work on your plan. The plan that you make to start selling your product, to start marketing your product and to start branding your account to get more sales and more revenue. So if you're also getting hurdles and these type of small errors that are not letting you to work peacefully for your dreams, then don't worry. You can subscribe my channel because I'm having all these solution videos on these kind of small issues. And to resolve this issue for which you are here today and your title or bullet points or image not updating on Amazon listing, you can watch this short video till the end so you will be able to know how you can resolve this issue and how you can move forward to start selling your product. But before getting started, I'm Uzair and I sell my products on Amazon, eBay, Shopify, ClickFunnel and Redbubble. And on this channel, I share my knowledge with you people so you can do the same and build your online business. So if you are interested in learning about the fastest and easiest way to make money online, which can give you profit in your first 7 days, then make sure to sign up for my free 30 minutes webinar from the link below so you can also achieve financial freedom like me and leave your 9 to 5 job. So without any further delay, let's start the video. Alright, so as you can see here, I'm on my computer screen and from my seller central, I have opened one of my product for which I need to update the title. So logically, this is my product, private label product and I can change the title of this product anytime. But when I try to update this title, so Amazon is not letting me update the title. For example, this title says that universal plain prime parasol umbrella for baby stroller. So for example, I need to change the title and I need to write that uh, umbrella for my baby let's suppose any title and when i click here so you can see that it is giving me a red error due to which my listing can be suppressed and it is saying that the value umbrella for my baby specified cannot be used as it conflicts with the value my old title in amazon catalog if this asin xyz update the value to match the asin data if this is a different product update identify information in upc so amazon is saying that in amazon catalog my old title is there with my ASIN of this product. So Amazon is thinking that this is the ASIN and this is the title. So this title is for this ASIN. And if I put any other title and if I try to change any other word in that title, so Amazon is not accepting it because Amazon thinks that this title is only for this ASIN. So this error you can find for anything like you can find for bullet point or description or any other data you want to modify for your product listing. So what you can do in that case, so this error cannot be solved from this page like from the edit your listing. You have to go to the Amazon catalog and you have to update that value in Amazon program via flat file and tell Amazon that please update this value for this ASIN. So for that, you will need to down a category file from Amazon catalog which is in the Excel form and on the title column of this file, we have to put our new title manually and on the ASIN form, on the ASIN column, we have to put our ASIN manually. And then we need to upload that file to the Amazon catalog. So after 15 or 20 minutes, Amazon will update that value for that ASIN in the Amazon catalog via programming. So let's see how we can do it. So to do it, first of all, we need to find the category of our product. So we can download that catalog file for that particular category. So for that, you need to click on view listing on Amazon. And on that listing, we have to go down or from the top, we can find the category. So you can see that Push here is the main category and the subcategory is parasols and sun covers. So I have to note this category from here and then I have to go to Amazon Seller Central and from above I have to click on inventory and I have to click on add products via upload. And from there I have to go on download an inventory file and from there I have to scroll down and I have to find out this category. So we have to copy this category from here and then we have to paste this category so we can navigate to that category and click on search. And from there we can see that the product type is umbrella. So we can select this category because it's saying that the subcategory is umbrellas and shade and after that it's parasols. So I can click on select and I can see that after clicking on select Amazon has added this category flat file or this category catalog on this section. And then when I go down 
I need to download this flat file for only UK. If you want this for any other marketplace, so you can just check or you can just uncheck because UK is already checked. And when I go down, I have to leave this for advance and then I have to click on generate template. So as soon as I click on generate template, you can see on the bottom left side, I have one Excel file already downloaded here. So I have to now open that Excel file. This is a catalog file. Uh, you can open this in Excel or you can just open this in Google Sheet. So let me open and show you. Okay, so I have opened that file into the Google Sheet, which I have just downloaded from Amazon Seller Central. And then what we have to do is, we can see that in this file, there are multiple sheets. You can see on the bottom, instruction, images, example. So we have to open the template one. So this is the file in which we can see uh, there are various columns in which columns we can just put data manually. You can see that there's a column of price, images, quantity. And if we go uh, further forward, we can see all the columns having the all the uh, data requirement of uh, product. You can see that we can just put the title here. We can just put uh, uh, bullet points here. We can just put uh, description here. So any data which is not uploading on Amazon Seller Central uh, on your product listing. So you can just put that data manually into that sheet. And then after saving that sheet, you can just re-upload that sheet to the Seller Central. So that data can be put directly to the programming of Amazon. So this is the one and only hassle-free way which can update the data of your product in just 5 or 10 minutes. So you can see that we are on a template sheet right now. And if you wanted to know the valid value of any field, like you can see that if there is an item SKE or seller SKE column and you don't know that what are the valid values which you can put it here. So you can see a valid value sheet at the bottom at the last. So when you click on this valid value sheet, so you will be able to see that what values are valid for each columns. So this sheet can help you to find out the valid values or if you have already know the valid values, you can just go to template. So to update the content of any product, first of all, you need to put the ASIN of that product into the product ID column right here and click on continue editing. So you can see that I have put the ASIN in the product ID column and in the product ID type, I have to type the word ASIN. A -S -I -N. And when I click on enter, so you can see that in product ID type, I'm telling Amazon that the product ID I'm entering is the ASIN type. And after that, we have to move on to some other columns here. And then we have to find out the column called update or delete. And in that column, we need to type partial update. And you have to type like this without any space and P of partial and U of update will be capital. So after putting these three things, partial update, ASIN and ASIN value, you can update any value. Like if you wanted to update title or if you wanted to update bullet point or if you wanted to upload description. So you can just type that particular value in that particular column and then you can just save the file. So right now in our case, we need to update the title. So we have to come to the first column and after ASIN, we can find this column product name. So this is the value, but this is the field in which we can put the title. So right now I'm just uh, opening any title like this is my test title for product and enter. So you can see that I have put the text which I wanted to put in the title of my product. So after that, I have to just click on file, download and Microsoft Excel because I'm editing in Google Sheet. But if you're editing in Excel, so you can just press Ctrl S so your file will be saved and overwrite. And after that, you need to come to Amazon inventory and add products via upload. And then from here, click on upload inventory file. And from here, you can just click on browse file. You can just navigate that file. And after scrolling down, you can just keep this check to Excel, not text. And you can just type your email if you want email alert. And after that, you need to click on upload file. So you can see that your file has been uploaded and you are navigated towards the third column, which is monitor upload status. So you can see that right now we cannot see any file, but if we click on refresh, we can see that file. You can see that this file is updated on 7th April and the time and the file name is parasols and the batch ID is this and the upload status is upload status in progress. So after doing all this, you need to wait for at least one or two hours and after two hours when you come back and when you open the same page and click on refresh, then you will be able to see the state of your file. Like is it uploaded or rejected? Sometimes Amazon reject your file because of the many reasons. Like if you uh, just not put the data correctly or if you uh, just not read the valid values and you put the value which is not valid for that particular column, so your file can be rejected. So in case if your file will be rejected, Amazon will tell you the reason here or if your file is uploaded successfully, so this status will be changed from a uh, progress to uploaded. And after that, that status will be changed. So you can just go to your seller central. You can just go to your product page and you can see that the title, bullet point or any product information that you have just updated in that sheet has been uploaded. So I hope this video helped you guys a lot. And after watching this video, 
you will be able to update any information about your product on your seller center if you're getting any kind of error. So go there, try out this method and if this method works for you, then don't forget to let me know in the comment box below so other people can also see that you have done it successfully. And if you like my content and if my content really helps you a lot, so make sure to click on the like button and subscribe to the channel as well so you can watch more videos like this. And if you have any question regarding Amazon or e-commerce selling, so you can just ask me that question in the comment box below or you can just book a free one-on-one -on -one consultation call with me from the link in the description below. So let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.